Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about this guy that's been blowing up off of Instagram. He goes by the name Lil Eggish. It's up here. I don't really know how he pronounces his name. Alright, so this guy's in between the age of 8 and 10. And it all started when he posted this video of him smoking a joint on Instagram. So his original account got deleted. It was at about 50,000 followers. So he made a new one and that one's at about 10,000 followers. And he bought another one and that one's at like 150,000. So he already started blowing up just from posting that one video on Instagram. But I think what really made him blow up is just how savage he is. Drake went to go put in his two cents and he told him to just hop out my DMs. But it doesn't stop there. Cardi B messaged him trying to give him her advice and he told her to go back to stripping. And then Demi Lovato stepped in and well, yeah, you can pause it to read it if you want. Honestly, I'm not going to give my opinion on this too much because it's, well, kind of a touchy topic. But I will say this, this has been going on for a long time and these celebrities are acting like this is just now happening. No, this guy is just the one that blew up off of it. And even if they're not as open as they are as this guy is, I mean, they're still doing it. Especially if you grow up in like a big city like Chicago, New York, or LA, like this stuff is happening, man. You guys need to wake up and if you don't like it, do something about it. I will leave a link for his Instagram page in the description down below, but I highly recommend not DMing him unless you want to get told to hop out his DMs. Alright, moving on to number two. This video's got almost 4 million views, and this store is getting robbed, and this customer's coming in while the guy's robbing the place, and he just don't give a f This is minding your own business to the max, man. He just walked in, didn't even care about the gun, went straight to the candy aisle like, oh, what kind of twigs do I want today, man? The left or right ones? That cashier's just lucky that that guy didn't want to rob the store. Is that Chuck Norris in disguise or Bruce Lee? You tell me. But seriously, props to this guy because that is the best way to act in a situation like that. You don't want to progress it and you don't want to try to step in unless you want to get shot. All right, guys, moving on to number three. All right, I figured we'd end this week's video on a Halloween one since Halloween's next week, you know? And, well, there's this dad and these two kids, and they're on this haunted trail, and this kid is scared. Ah, you gotta run. No! You gotta run. No! No, you right here. No! You gotta run. You gotta run. Go with me. Go. 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 <laughs> I think that was the best dad of 2019. The kid was so scared. He's like, please, please come with me. He said, no, no, go on, go on, son. You know, I don't really blame the kid. If there was a guy with a chainsaw on the front and a guy with a chainsaw on the back, I wouldn't know what to do, man. I'd probably go through the trail and just be part of the children of the corn. And notice how the guy in the garage with the chainsaw isn't even worried about the little boy's brother. He's just waiting for him to pass and for the little boy to come around so he can just start that chainsaw back up again. And it took me a while to understand what he was saying, but the kid the whole time was yelling, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. Ooh. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching this week's video. If you want to check out the full videos, they're in the description down below. And if you guys want to check out last week's video, it's up here. If you want to subscribe, it's up here. And I will see you guys next Sunday.